Hello, it's Mark from Herotech Systems and you're welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Uh, in today's video, we are going to look at how to create VLANs and how to trunk uh, links between network devices. This is lesson 9 of the Cisco Packet Tracer tutorial for beginners. So without further ado, let's go right into our Packet Tracer interface and do the configuration. So you're welcome to the packet tracer interface and we have already configured this network topology which you see here. Um, we have uh, two LAN segments, one for the IT department and one for the sales department. Now the both uh, network segments belong to the same VLAN. Our uh, objective for today is to put the sales department into a different virtual LAN. So uh, by default, uh, all devices or all ports on both segments belong to VLAN 1. So we're going to create VLAN 2 and assign all the ports in LAN segment 2 to, uh, uh, that is in the sales uh, department to VLAN 2. So let's go into a switch. So we can see that uh, with from the show VLAN brief, which we have here, you can see that we have only one VLAN here and then all the ports all the switch ports are assigned to this one VLAN so we're going to create another one so we'll say VLAN so to create the VLAN say VLAN 2 and then we give it a name call it sales so it's sales VLAN now what we need to do is to assign ports to the VLAN. So port one to five on the switch are connected. So I connected my devices from the topology here to port one to five. So I'm going to assign port one to ten to VLAN two using this network uh, statement. So. I'm going to enter into the range of IP address I want to assign, of ports, I mean, I want to assign to the VLAN. So, interface, interface range F0 slash 1 to 10. So, from F0 slash 1 to 10, I'm going to make sure that the ports are access ports using the switch port mode access and then I'm going to use the switch port access VLAN 2 to assign all the ports, all the ports that belong to this range from 1 to 10 to VLAN 2 using the statement switch port access VLAN 2. So after doing that I'm going to confirm go back to my privilege mode and use the show VLAN brief so I can see from this from the show VLAN brief that I now have two VLANs I have VLAN 1 here and then I have VLAN 2 I have the name of the VLAN 2 which I've created is sales and then the status is active and then I have from uh, one uh, first internet one to fast Ethernet 10. So I have these ports assigned towards VLAN 2. So having created these uh, devices in a different VLAN, uh, what we are going to do now is to trunk the link between the two switches. So uh, I'm going to come here. Now the two switches are connected using, um, you can come back here and verify. Just cover your mouse around the triangle 24 first internet slash 24 so interface f0 slash 24 and i'm going to use switch ports mode trunk so i've trunked the ports i've trunked the ports yes and uh, uh if you come here now you will find out that if you try to If we try to to see if it's going to get an IP address, 
you realize that it will not receive an IP address anymore because I have placed uh, the device or the devices in the sales VLAN in the sales segments on a different VLAN so the IP address will fail it's not going to get an IP address because apparently the DHCP server and this host that are in this uh, segment are in two different VLANs okay this is not coming up I have to come back here I have to come here and also trunk this port so it's giving me an error because this port is still access still an access port so interface l0 slash 24 switch port mode trunk so that is how to create um, uh, VLANs and to trunk uh, links between between uh, devices in Cisco Packet Tracer. If you if you do not understand how we got to this level, how we got this topology, the link to previous videos are in the description below. And if you are new to networking and you want to learn networking technologies uh, very fast, you want to learn network te technologies from a summarized guide. Uh, there's a link to a guide which I've written is in the description below and if you found this video very helpful Please do not forget to like the video subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so that whenever we upload new content You will be notified. Thank you for watching